Jesus one day sat with God Almighty in heaven and God Almighty said now you go downstairs and die for those folks and I'll raise you up in three days some of us have the stupid idea that God Almighty just thought of what he would do to save this poor wretched man and he said I'm going down there myself and God turned into a little, little something and got into the womb of a virgin and pretended that he wasn't there and began to speak from heaven while he was actually in the womb. And then, and God born, and while those people were coming to admire this little baby, he was looking at them with his eyes right there, you know, he's almighty God with that little baby, you know, and he was looking at them, I know y'all, but you think I'm a baby here, just wait and see. See, and people have these funny thoughts about God and just because we say God can do anything you know somebody asked one time when John the Baptist was baptizing Jesus in the Jordan River a voice spoke out of heaven and said this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased if Jesus were God Almighty who came down Because at the same time the Holy Ghost came on Jesus so the Holy Ghost was here on Jesus so who spoke from heaven because Papa God turned into a little something and grew into a man named Jesus so he shouldn't have been speaking from heaven again so who's talking from heaven well the answer is you know God can do all things he can show sure be here and talking from there hallelujah if we just if we just lay aside all our assumptions about Jesus and follow the written word and follow just the Bible the revelation given by the Holy Spirit according to this book you'd find that all that is junk all that assumption about Papa God turning into Jesus is rubbish or Jesus haven't been in heaven before and came down here to die he was never in heaven as Jesus every time I say that Pentecostals shake right in their boots they say oh we love his preaching and his teaching boy he teaches good but I don't like him when he says certain things this is this upsets my the your theology needs to be upset you got the wrong theology. Jesus was God's son in the flesh. Did you hear that? Jesus was God's son from the word. Understand the Bible tells us, <laughs> read it yourself, isn't St. John's Gospel? Read from chapter 1 all the way. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. The only way Jesus was God is because he was the word of God made flesh. The Bible says the word became flesh. He was never there in heaven walking around like the Father and the angels and all of that. at a certain time in history as a man he was always the word I don't mean his name was called the word don't get it wrong I don't mean he was there in heaven moving around but they called him the word and then the father would say words come and you know he, he would go there <laughs> hallelujah in the book of Revelations, the Bible tells us his name is called the Word of God. All right? That's at the end, but at the beginning. The Word that God spoke became Jesus. And because his life came from that Word, and the word was the eternal word of an eternal God that life which came from the word of God that eternal life 
the Bible says that life that eternal life which was with the father was manifested to us and we beheld him that's when Jesus came he is himself God because the word of God and God are one you cannot separate a man from his word you're hearing me now you can separate what I'm saying from me I'm I'm the one talking to you but the word became flesh and dwelled among us that's where Jesus came from that's the reason see now you can understand why he could be tempted now you can understand that when he obeyed his father his father was actually pleased It was not that it was impossible for him to sin. He could have sinned if he wanted to. Understand, now when you get the idea that the Bible actually gives us about Jesus, you, you realize that our salvation is not only genuine, it's just priceless. It's awesome. You, you, you would fall in love with Jesus like you never did in your life. You know, the Bible says he was in the world and the world was made by him and the world knew him not. What do you mean? The Bible says God's word produced the word. The same word. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. How did he do it? He spoke creation into being. That same word that he spoke, the Bible says became flesh. That's where Jesus came from. His life didn't come from a man. Every one of you, your life came from a man. Your body came from a woman. Can you see it now? So Jesus was born of a virgin his body was a human body because the, the body came from a woman but the life came from the word because what the woman received was the word of God and always when the word of God goes forth the Holy Spirit acts on that word the Bible says the angel said to that woman the power of the highest shall overshadow thee in other words the Holy Ghost shall overshadow thee And the Holy Spirit acted on that word that she received and that's how Jesus was conceived of a virgin the eternal Son of God and so when he pleased his father it was genuine he wasn't just coming to act out something he believed like every one of us he was hungry like every one of us he was tired like every one of us. It was not impossible for him to sin, but he did not sin. He could have. 